Hello everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. I'm thrilled to have you here as we continue our journey through Salesforce certification topics. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce trailblazers. Today, we're diving into a vital module titled Create Price Books to Track Your Products. This video is part of our series designed to make complex Salesforce concepts simple and approachable. In this session, our objectives are twofold. First, we'll explain how products and price books work together within Salesforce. Second, by the end of the video, you'll know how to set up a price book yourself. Let's start with the basics. In Salesforce, products are tracked using product records that include details like name, code, description, and status. Every product has a standard price, which is included in the standard price book. Think of it as a master catalog of all your products. However, sometimes you need flexibility. Imagine you sell the same product at different prices depending on the customer or region. That's where custom price books come in. For instance, at Orsa Major, the admin, Maria Jimenez, needed to offer discounted prices to the West Coast sales team. Let's see how Maria does this. Maria began by accessing price books from the app launcher. She clicked New to create a new price book, provided the necessary details, and saved her work. Once the price book was created, she navigated to the Related tab, clicked Add Product, and selected a product. Here, Maria set a discounted list price that was lower than the standard price. Marking the entry as active ensured that sales reps could start selling immediately. After adding more products, Maria's team could easily track and offer the right prices to their West Coast clients. Transitioning from setup to application, let's see how sales reps like Lance use these price books. Lance was working on an opportunity with a West Coast client. He accessed the products related list on his opportunity, clicked add product, selected the appropriate West Coast price book and added the needed product with the correct quantity. The discounted pricing was automatically applied, streamlining the sales process and ensuring accuracy. Now it's your turn to get hands on. Before we jump into detailed steps, Here's a brief overview of the hands-on challenge. You'll be creating a custom price book named Northwest Diesel Generator Sales, adding several diesel generator products with specific list prices and activating them to see how they integrate into your sales process. Launch your trailhead playground to follow along. First, navigate to the price book section in your Salesforce playground. Once there, click on the new button to create a new price book. When prompted, name this price book, Northwest Diesel Generator Sales. After entering the name, save the new price book. Next, you will add products to this price book. Begin by selecting the option to add a new product. Choose the product GenWatt Diesel 1000 Kilowatt and set its list price to 87,500 and then save. Repeat these steps for the next product. Add GenWatt Diesel 200 kilowatt with a list price of 23,000. Again, after selecting the product, click Next, verify the price, mark the entry as active, and save. Finally, add the third product by selecting GenWatt Diesel 10 kilowatt with a list price of 4,500. As before, click Next after selecting it ensure the list price is correct, mark it as active, and save the entry. Once all products have been added, verify that they appear under your new price book with the correct prices. This process ensures that each product is properly listed and active, ready for use in sales transactions. Remember, if you run into any issues, check that each step has been followed correctly. From naming the price book, to entering the list prices and marking entries as active. Let's head back to the trailhead to verify your steps while I quickly recap. Today, 
we've explored how products and price books work together in Salesforce. We learned the importance of the standard price book and how to create custom price books for specific needs, such as offering discounts. By understanding how to set up and manage price books, you're better prepared for both certification and practical Salesforce administration tasks. Thank you for watching and joining me on this exploration of price books in Salesforce. Keep practicing what you've learned and you'll find these concepts become second nature. Until next time, happy trailheading and take care. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce certification content. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. I love hearing your thoughts and will do my best to respond. Check out the video description for additional resources and links to related modules that can further enhance your learning.